WaveLab 9.5 introduces several new capabilities and a great deal of streamlining to make its core functions even easier to use. The new Spectrum Editor consolidates all of the spectral editing tools into one convenient ribbon section. The functional areas flow from left to right, much like in the Correction tab. You have tools for selection, define and copy, processing, and playback. Now, between the greater visibility provided by the wavelet display which we just saw and the new selection tools we're about to look at, the editing power of version 9.5 is better than ever. In this example, we have a bongo drum performance which was interrupted by a paging tone in the background. In the spectrum view, you can clearly see the offending tone represented by these horizontal lines. By activating the wavelet display, we can use the selection tools with much greater accuracy. You can also see the offending tone in this case has several harmonic bands. You have several selection options to define and then eliminate the offending sounds. You can use the lasso to freely draw around the material you want to remove. And you can get even more accuracy out of the lasso or the rectangle selector by engaging snap mode. Snap mode intelligently fine-tunes your selection to spectral hot points. With WaveLab 9.5, you can easily select the multiple harmonic bands without changing the shape of your selection. Simply outline the fundamental frequency, then click on the harmonics icon and select the appropriate intervals. WaveLab will highlight the additional harmonics without changing the shape of your selection. Select the processing option to change the level and then click apply. And just like that, the offensive material is removed. The ability to remove audio material from inside the waveform is remarkable, but wouldn't it be great if you could somehow now fill in the gaps? Well, another powerful feature is the source at cursor function. When we activate this and then select an area of audio, you can see that WaveLab automatically draws the source box from the cursor position and executes a copy function. Another option available is the ability to crop your selected audio. You also have the ability to invert your selection, and this can expedite the editing functions where your aim is to eliminate all but a small selection of audio. Select what you want to keep, invert the selection, and delete the newly selected content. Another enhancement that will make your intellectual property even more secure is the ability to apply a text watermark directly to the waveform, like this. You can also use the transcode picture function to watermark your work. 